1995, there was developed and approved the educational standard for a degree program, service and technical operation of transportation and technological machinery and equipment for petroleum products and fuel supply. After having been licensed for training engineers in this field in 1996, Krasnoyarsk State Technical University opened its doors for future royal professionals. In 2009, by a joint decree of Scientific Council of Siberian Federal University's School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering and Achinsk Oil Refinery of East Oil Company, the first specialized department of chemistry and technology of natural energy sources and carbon materials was opened. In 2010, a new building accommodation school of petroleum and natural gas engineering designed to resemble an oil derrick was erected. Vladimir Putin, then the Prime Minister of the Russian government, attended the opening ceremony. From the moment of its foundation, the school has been headed by Professor Nikolai Dovzhenko, Doctor of Sciences in Engineering. On his desk, you will also notice an oil derrick replica. The school's mission was clearly declared at its foundation in 2009, when the Krasnoyarsk region was added to a list of Russia's most prospective oil-producing districts. By 2030, it is expected to climb to the third place in that ranking. The mission is to train highly qualified specialists who are capable to begin their career in industry without relying on companies' induction training. Currently, the school includes 11 chairs, two professional development centers, four off-site industrial training facilities centers and eight laboratories. Jointly with industrial partners, the school conducts and supports R&D in petroleum and natural gas geology, development of technologies of crude hydrocarbon processing and catalysts for petrochemical processes, as well as environmental protection. The faculty is composed of experienced and distinguished, as well as young and ambitious lecturers. One of such young lecturers is Marat Mukai, the Associate Professor of Oil and Gas Field Development and Operation Chair. He is a member of Oil Engineers Professional Association. Marat believes that the students' training should include development of competences in most innovative technologies that are introduced into the industry nowadays. I train students in oil well hydrodynamic research operation of horizontal and multilateral wells, computer simulation of petrochemical processes. Knowledge and skills in this field allow students to keep up with the most modern industrial trends and be viewed as valuable employees for oil and gas companies. The first graduates of our school have already proved that they are highly competent in the fields of transportation and storage of petroleum products. 60% of the graduates are employed in the enterprises of Rosneft Oil Company. We have high hopes for the students as our prospective employees. They have first-hand experience with Vancouver industrial processes. All of them have been at Vancouver under graduate intention and pre-graduation practical training, and we cooperate with them closely. In this regard, of course, we and the school are closely connected. As a company, we also help the school with funding, industrial training sponsorship, we establish grants for the faculty and scholarships for outstanding students. This is Nikolai Lonsinger, a student of machinery and equipment for Royal and Gas Fields Chair. His ambition is to become a CEO of a major oil company, no more but no less. He enrolled for the school straight from a Rosneft Secondary School experimental course located in Bogachani, a small town in the Krasnoyarsk region. Such secondary school courses are a part of Rosneft's program of lifelong learning from secondary school through university to industry. I undertook two internships at the Vancouver oil field. The first time I worked at an oil pumping station for a month, and the second time it was in a gas treatment shop. Thanks to these internships, I earned enough money to buy a car. 
They also helped me with my research paper, with which I have participated in three scientific conferences. We pick up talented kids at secondary school and support their early professional development in the oil industry. They get career guidance, as well as advanced training in engineering disciplines, like physics and chemistry. Students of the School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering live in comfortable modern dormitories. They are sure to remember their university years. They are provided with all possibilities to develop themselves in sports, research and creative work. Since 2015, the school started offering a specialized master's degree program in engineering. After completing his bachelor's program and working for some time as an industrial engineer at Archinsk oil refinery, Sergei Voronkin has applied to the program which offers unique possibilities for professional development. And now he's back at his school to continue education. Nowadays you can't just go with the flow. The one who is a specialist is expected to offer innovative ideas and non-standard solutions. If you have an idea, here's the place where you have every possibility to actually test it. Sergei Voronkin's startup deals with development of an efficient system for disposed engine oil upcycling. This project is not only scientifically valuable, it is also of great social significance, as it may help to improve the ecological situation in the Krasnoyarsk region. The school serves as a springboard for young, ambitious people, but it's not the only school's mission. It also carries out scientific research for a few major oil companies. The school offers courses in professional development and retraining programs. The research and education center, CBFU Corporate Petroleum Center, offers a variety of resources to train professionals capable of meeting the challenges faced by the companies of fuel and energy complex. School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering is a relatively young but fast-growing institution. One cannot stay competitive in the modern world without using cutting-edge technology, both domestic and international ones. School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering of Siberian Federal University is one of the top examples of a renovated Russian educational system, which is based on integration of science, industry and education. School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering of Siberian Federal University is among top priority university departments. As you may know, it was founded by a decree of Vladimir Putin, who personally made the decision to establish the school during one of his earlier visits to Siberian Federal University. The decree officially contributed to the primary university mission namely that the university is meant to serve as an academic and intellectual bridge for Russia's cooperation with the East and developing close collaboration with the larger businesses and industries which are major drivers of Siberia's economy.